Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. This video is brought to you by Tagitize, the easiest way to run tag all on multiple Revit views and sheets. Also, say goodbye to overlapping tags. Tagitize will turn this into this. Try Tagitize completely for free using the link in this video's description. Have you ever wanted to quickly turn off the interior edges of all floors and roofs in the model? I have here a Revit model where lots of views show these messy, tangled up floor internal edges like this. Here's another view and here's another one. These edges are useful when you want to see the actual 3 shape of the floor. However, sometimes we just want the floor to show up as a background for other more important elements. That's when these spider webs really become distracting. To hide these manually, we can always go to Visibility and Graphics, expand the Floors category, and turn off folding lines to make Revit hide those edges. However, it will take ages to do this for many views. Of course, we can use a view template to speed up this task. But what if not all the views we need to change are using the same view template? To me, the best solution here is to use Dynamo. I'll show you today how to create this little Dynamo script to turn off the interior edges of all floors and roofs in the model in one single click. To prove that it works, I'll run it now. There we go. All these messy floor folding lies are now hidden in all views. How sweet is that? If you don't have much time and just want to run this script right away, simply find in the video's description a link to download this script directly. If you, however, want to learn to code this yourself, let me show you how right now, step by step. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now, because we do tutorials like this every single week. Okay, let's begin. To start, let's create a new script in Dynamo. I will now add a Python node to the graph and open it for editing. However, this is not a good script editor, so I'll type the code out in Visual Studio Code instead and copy it back into Dynamo at the end. If you're new to this workflow, don't worry, just find in the video's description below a link to my other tutorial on how to set up this coding environment. It will also provide you with this Python template for Dynamo. That will give you all the necessary information to then return to this video and start scripting with me. First things first, we need to tell Dynamo which element categories to turn off. There are two of those, one is the interior floor edges and the other is the interior roof edges. Go ahead and get the ID of the interior floor edges category like this. Then we do the same again, but this time using a different built-in category value to get interior roof edges. Very nice. We can now put both two category ID values in a new list. This will allow looping through these ID values later in a convenient way. Next, I can create two lists to report the result of running this script. Let's call these done and failed. We'll add views to these lists soon, depending on whether the views have been modified successfully or not. Now, it's time to actually modify the model, so let's open a new transaction for that. Like this. Inside the transaction, I'll collect and iterate over all views in the model like this. For each view, we'll check if it's a view template. If yes, we can simply skip it as we're not interested in changing it anyway. The next check is to determine if the view allows graphic overrides. This is because Views like schedules and reports aren't view templates, but will never show roofs and floors, so they can be skipped. We also need to skip over views that have a view template assigned. The reason is simple. If it's locked to a view template, we can't edit the visibility of any categories in that view anyway. Trying to do so would actually give us an error, so let's skip those views as well to be safe. At this point, the view is valid for our main task. Before trying the edit, let's create a modified boolean flag and set its value to false. If we can edit the view successfully, we'll set this flag to true and then use its value for a later step. That's why we need it. Alright, we can now finally iterate over the two category ID values collected at the beginning of this script. As a reminder, these are the interior edge categories of floors and roofs. For each edge category, let's check if it can be hidden in the view. If so, we can finally set its, its hidden state to true. As soon as that's done, let's set the view's modified flag to true just like we intended to before. Once we are finished looping through the two interior edge categories, it's time to check if the flag is no longer false. If that's the case, we can happily add this view to the done list. Otherwise, into the failed list it goes. 
As the final step, let's commit the transaction to save changes to the model and then return the two result lists back to the main Dynamo graph. With that, our Python script is done. Next, let's copy all tags from this file, paste it into the Python node in Dynamo, save it, and close this node. There are no input nodes needed for this node because we always want to check the two interior edge categories. It makes sense to hard code these into the Python script as we did, although that's pretty uncommon in other Dynamo husks. With that, our Dynamo script is finally complete. Let's now run the script to see it in action. All right, it has worked beautifully, just like before. All these flaws no longer show interior edges or folding lines, and that has happened on all eligible views. If you want to check if the script failed to modify any view, just expand its output and investigate the second list here. Obviously, it failed to hide the two interior edge categories in some drafting views, but that's kind of expected. Drafting views don't show actually floors and roofs anyway, so there's no point trying to hide their folding lines. So there you have it. If you just want to run this script, there's a link in the video's description to download it. If you, however, want to master Python scripting in Dynamo to create this kind of script yourself, check out my full online Python for Dynamo course, also linked to in the video description. If you like this lesson and want more like this every single week, make sure to subscribe to this channel now. For now, have a good day and I'll see you in the next tutorial.